Like, the utter buffoonery of the Liberal Party is astounding to me. Toronto Sun reports that apparently Liberals are blaming the local candidate for their loss, not Trudeau for their loss in the by-elections. Uh, now, what are they talking about for those that don't know? Well, about last week, the Liberals lost a stronghold on a place called St. Paul's in Toronto. And why is that bad? Or uh, bad for everyone without a brain, that is. Well, St. Paul's was a Liberal stronghold for more than 30 years. So, that must mean that the Conservatives did something right in that place, right? Well, now I turn you to the article that it states, the Trudeau Liberals have done some deep thinking about why they lost a Toronto St. Paul's by-election and have decided it was Leslie Church's fault. Like I said, y'all, the Liberals are huffing on that cope. Because instead of blaming the terrible Prime Minister that is Trudeau, they're now blaming the local candidate. Because that makes sense, right? The place that has been a Liberal stronghold for over 30 years was brought down because someone new didn't campaign earlier. And uh, for context, the Sun article continues. The Ontario co-chair for the next election, the person in charge of finding new candidates, says showing gratitude to Church by blaming her. I uh, think the lesson here is that she was nominated a week or two before the by-election was called. Gold told the Canadian press in an interview, and so she needed more time to be able to get out there and get known in the riding. The way Gold and Canadian press tell the story, the Conservatives had the advantage because they nominated their candidate earlier so he could campaign and get to know the voters in the riding. Meanwhile, says Gold, Church couldn't campaign because she wasn't nominated until May 1st, a little over two weeks before the by-election was called. <sighs> like, like guys, you literally can't make this up. They're blaming someone for not being in earlier as to why they lost a 30-year stronghold. But, of course, you know that that isn't the truth. It is just a half-baked claim to explain away their fumble. So, what is the truth? Well, I'll let the sun explain away, with it starting off as... That's a nice piece of fiction, a story to explain away a bad loss, but here is what really happened. Carol Bennett, who had held the seat since 1997, announced in July of last year that she would not run in the next election, but would stay on as an MP. By December, she had resigned her seat and in January was appointed Canada's ambassador to Denmark. Meanwhile, Church, who had been Krista Freeland's chief of staff, resigned from her job in October 2023 and moved back to Toronto to try and secure the nomination. Despite being a loyal soldier as a party volunteer and high-level staffer for years, the party delayed the nomination, hoping in vain for a star candidate, and didn't get one in the end, and in the meantime, Church was working and riding hard to secure the nomination. Sorry to butt in here, but could you imagine spending years and lots of time dedicating yourself to a party you believe in, to then only get completely blamed because the party she believed in delayed the nomination because they wanted a star candidate. And through them delaying the nomination, they're now blaming her for not campaigning earlier. Like, the utter buffoonery of the Liberal Party is astounding to me. But, anywho, let us continue. The Liberals could have held the nomination meeting at any point. They chose to delay. They also chose to hold the vote on June 24th, the day before the capital gains tax changes took effect. It was the Liberals who controlled every aspect surrounding the timing of this by-election, and they completely screwed it up. Now, faced with a bad loss in the riding, the Conservatives should never have won, the Liberals are blaming the local candidate. And then, get this, cause this is actually pretty damn funny, there are calls from inside the Liberal fold for the PM who hold the caucus meeting to discuss the by-election loss, but Gold doesn't support that idea. I think what's important is that the caucus members are really engaging their community, really hearing what is on the people's mind, she told Canadian Press. Well, in Toronto St. Paul's, the local candidate and her volunteers just spent weeks knocking on doors and talking to residents to hear what is on their mind, and one reoccurring theme is Trudeau has got to go. There were past Liberal voters telling Church's team that while they liked her, they couldn't vote for her while Trudeau was leading the party. That is the message that voters sent to the Liberals last week, but it's a message that they don't want to hear which could cost them another safe Liberal seat. 
And look, I have to put this to a close soon, but I just have to say, could you imagine spending years dedicated to a political party that once they fumble because they were all being little preppy princesses with needing a star candidate, they then blame you for them being stupid, only to then hear from the voters that they would have voted for you if it wasn't for Trudeau being there. And then again, the political side that you've dedicated years to just shoves all of that to the wayside and still blames you for their stupidity. Hey church, if you're listening here, if I were you, I would dump the Liberal Party, cause they suck. Instead of calling out that they screwed up, they blame you for their loss even though you would have been voted in if it wasn't for Trudeau being in power. And look, I really don't know anything about being a political leader or anything, but I give an olive branch to join the Conservative Party. We may not all be right up in the head, but this year is really looking up for the Conservative Party with Pierre being at the helm. And I'll just say, why join a political party that's going down with a ship when you could join the party that is just riding the wave of hating Trudeau? To me, the option seems obvious, but that is just me. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join a conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.